Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Brandon and we've got Adele. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? It's Rattles. Deal, and we've got Brandon, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? His legs are those coming down the steps. Oh, here's Tina. Yes, little Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> and Lisa. Come on, we do. We're having a rattling good time in here. Oh, I can see that, Granny Murray. Ole! <laughs> <laughs> but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Why don't you all dress Claude up as a Spanish dancer oh. for we paellas? <laughs> On you go. <laughs> and we can cast an act our way over to the chairs. <laughs> Come on, Tina. Ole! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited, Tina. My friend Juanita's coming over today to show the children some Spanish dancing. Oh, Juanita. Oh, she is a fantastic dancer. I wish I could be here to join in. Well, why don't you stay? Oh, I can't. I have to drive my taxi. Oh, well, I suppose we all have to work. <laughs> oh, will you look at Claude? Oh, sugar plums. What's happened to you? Oh, don't worry, Claude. I'll sort you out. I know how to fix you. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to call in the expert. Oh, good old Granny Murray. Here you are. Oh, Lisa, is that for me? Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> now I can rattle my way off to work. <laughs> Come on, then. And remember, when things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> now, will you keep a wee eye on Tina? Make sure she gets the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city view Stepping along I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go that way or do I go this? Which way's a hit? And which way's a miss? Left! Okay, left to the garage. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, builders. Oh, hello, hat. Hello, flower. <laughs> hello, cat. Hello, green man. Okay, down. You showed me the way to go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. <laughs> Thanks for helping me get to work. Okay, right now it's time to get changed for work. <laughs> that noise? There must be a carnival parade somewhere. <laughs> Graven music. 
<laughs> I wonder what Lisa's up to right now. I like to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Girls, say a big hello to my friend Juanita. Hello, <laughs> buenos dias. Oh, oh, mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Can you show us some Spanish dancing? Yeah, of course. Here you are. Lisa's having fun with all that Spanish dancing. Hi, Tina. Are you free? Oh, Mickey John John. Sure, jump in. Hey, cowboy! Oh, thanks, Tina. No worries, Mickey John. Oh, maybe you can take your class to the Carnival Parade later. Carnival Parade? Yeah. What Carnival Parade? Why? Hi. <laughs> well, Mickey John was my first fair of the day, but I'm sure there will be lots more. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Of a taxi fare, who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi, oh! Woo! Cruising a city in my pretty pink taxi, yeah! Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi! After all that. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi, Bobby. Would you like some tea? Oh, no, thanks. I'm just on my way home to collect Kai from nursery, but I thought you might like <gasps> this. Oh, an air freshener. Oh, you sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> oh, a dancing air freshener. <laughs> <laughs> the whole city's dancing today. <laughs> Have you heard it? Uh, no, no, not really. No? Well, why don't I give you a lift and you'll hear it for yourself? <laughs> Listen! Started already! Can you hear the click clack, Bobby? <laughs> um, I think you must have one of those pairs of castanets hidden in your handbag. <laughs> no, but I can't hear any castanets, Tina. Well, you must be able to, Bobby. What else could be making that click clack sound? <laughs> Uh, maybe you should get your ears looked at, Tina. <laughs> now you give my love to Kai. OK. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, click, click, rattle, rattle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> Oh, Lisa, you're 
you but would love to be doing this, wouldn't you? I love you, Mummy. Oh! <laughs> Dr. Juno! I may have the pleasure of the next dance. <laughs> so this is what you get up to all day, is it? Oh, well, only when I'm not busy. <laughs> Well, what can I do for you, Dr. Juno? Can I have a lift to the hospital? Of course. Hop in. <laughs> By the way, Dr. Juno, I think you should test Bobby's ears. Really? Why? Well, she was in my taxi earlier and she couldn't hear these brilliant castanets. Are you sure? Well, yes. They must be coming from some carnival parade. Well, I can't see any carnival parade, Tina. Maybe you should have your ears tested. Me? Do you think you should? Oh, just because they can hear castanets. Oh, dear. <sighs> That'll be three pounds, please. Here you are, Tina. Can you hear the castanets now? Yes, I can. The carnival parade must be getting closer. Right. I think I need to give your taxi an examination, Tina. Let's see what the matter could be. Aha! The problem's under here. What? I have cast the nets beneath my taxi. No, Tina. You've got a rattling exhaust. You need a new exhaust pipe. What? I must fly. Thanks for the lift. Bye. Uh, oh, no. I've still got a full day's work to do and now my taxi needs repaired. Well, what am I going to do? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's and the children dressed up Claude like a Spanish dancer. At nine o'clock, I started up my taxi. It sounded like there was a carnival parade nearby and I started to jig around. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John called in for a lift to school. We drove along to the rhythm of the dance music from the carnival parade. At 11 o'clock, Bobby called. I took her for a ride to listen to the castanets from the carnival, but she couldn't hear them. She told me I needed my ears testing. At 12 o'clock, Dr Juno needed a lift to the hospital with her new bike wheel. I could still hear the castanets and asked her to test my ears. But Dr Juno examined my taxi instead of my ears and soon found a problem. The rattling I could hear was a broken exhaust pipe. Now remember, when things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. Of course! Well, all I have to do is call in the experts to fix my taxi. And I know just the place to get a brand new exhaust pipe. <laughs> It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? I'm going to do it. I'm going to beat the clock before the chime. I'm going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish the song. Quiet as a mouse now. <laughs> you know, I quite miss that rattle now it's not there. <laughs> But I can always shake my loose change box. <laughs> Lisa would love this. <laughs> Thank you.
Lick his hand. <laughs> Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. Did you have a nice day with Granny Murray? You betcha. Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, Thank you, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, I remembered what you said. When things go wrong, you sometimes have to call in the experts. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, quaking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, picking up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a Spanish dancer because today my friend called Juanita came to do some Spanish dancing. Juanita looked gorgeous in her flamenco dress. She gave the children special rattles called maracas to shake as we danced. Then Juanita showed us how to play the castanets. We put them on our fingers and clicked them together. They made a loud rattling noise, just like a rattling exhaust pipe on Tina's taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I should take along my castanets next time I go to a party? <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Molly. But don't just sit there, Pickles. Come on, let's have fun. Who's that, Molly? dressed in their tartan kilts. They look so smart. Oh, yes. But now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. There we are. Why don't you dress Claude up as someone from the Pipe Band Festival? Oh, <laughs> he'll look a treat in a kilt. And why don't we march over and sit down? <gasps> Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wear a kilt, Raymond? Oh, no, never. I don't like getting my knees chilly, you see. Oh, you'd look fabulous in a kilt, Raymond. And if you do wear one, wear it with a flourish. That's what I always say. Wear it with a flourish? Yes, you've got to show off a bit when you're wearing a kilt. <laughs> well, I think I better think about flourishing off to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be busy today, I suppose, with all the visitors coming into town for the festival. I know, but I've got a very special surprise for the passengers today. I've got a new recipe for vanilla custard tarts. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> What's in your custard? Oh, well, sugar, orange zest and double cream. Save one for me, Raymond. <laughs> I will. But I must be off now or I won't have time to make them. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. Oh, 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 look at you, Claude. The fine figure of a man. <laughs> well done, Here everyone. You are. Oh, thanks, Lisa. <laughs> what is that, Granny Murray? It's a tam o' shanter. Just like Claude's wearing. Thank you, Lisa. I'll wear that and think of you. <laughs> well, must get to work now, Hell. Bye. <laughs> Have a good day. Come on, then. Now remember, wear it with a flourish. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, will you keep a wee eye on Raymond? Make sure he gets the right way to work. Shoes through the sand.
city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? OK, which way? Do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Left! OK, left, to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, taxi! Hello, tank! Hello, trolley! Hello, plank! Hello, lorry! Hello, bank! He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Up! You told me the way I go Thank you! You showed me the way I know Thanks for that. Now what? Oh yeah! I need to get changed for work! All dressed and ready to go! Pop on my festival tam o' shanter Right, Mines. Oh, are you there? I'm here. Is that you behind there, Bobby? What's in the bag? One of your buses? It's dusters. It's full of dusters. I went a bit mad in the cash and carry. They were dead cheap. Well, you can never have too many dusters. Bobby, you have too many dusters. <laughs> I know, but I'm taking them down to my mum in Molly Moa. She has got the cleanest house in the world. Mm, well, I'll take a few packs off your hands. Oh, thanks, Raymond. You're a pal. <laughs> um, actually, while I'm here, I'll have a muffin, please. Ooh. There'll be vanilla custard tarts on the return trip. Mmm, yummy. Yes, I thought I'd do something a bit special, with so many people coming onto the train for the bagpipe festival. Hey, have you ever played the bagpipes, Raymond? Not really. I normally just pretend and make bagpipe noises. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it once. It's really hard. You've got to blow lots of air into the bag parts and then you squeeze the bag with your elbow to push the air through the pipes to make them play. <laughs> I couldn't get it right either and I just kept making a noise like this. <gasps> oh dear, I'll never get any work done at this rate. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd better leave you to it. I'll come back and I'll see you later. <laughs> oh, and I like your hat. Oh, I forgot I had this on. I wonder how my Lisa's day is going. <laughs> I love to skip in rivers he thing, go rivers he thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers he thing, go rivers he thing, go that's for me. Bye bye, Lisa. I'll see you soon, Angel. Oh, good girl. Bye bye. I wish I could be a fly on the wall to see Lisa at nursery. I want to be with you, Daddy. Let's get on with making these tarts then. I've made the custard. It smells gorgeous and it's cool enough to use now. I'll just add a good spoonful of custard to each pastry case. <laughs> and then pop them in the oven. And while I wait for those to bake, I can get on with the rest of my work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day. 
Making special moments on my way I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast Or walk, walk, walk all day Bringing smiles and happiness my way Being nice is what I love the most Take this time now looking fine So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help and clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to the street. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way I love my train Ho ho! Twelve o'clock! We'll be leaving Molly Moor any second. There's just time to decorate the Biffy car for all the passengers who are going to the Bagpipe Festival. Ho ho! I'll wear my Tam O'Shanter with a flourish, like I promised you, Granny Murray. <laughs> Thanks for the laughs, Raymond. And for taking some of my dusters off me. I hope you find them useful. Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> Bye. Oh, dear, oh, sorry. sorry. Um, can sorry. I squeeze past yep. the thanks? Oh. Hello, Raymond. Hi, Mickey John. Are we all on then? Yes! Bagpipe Festival! Here we come! Hooray! <laughs> How's it going, Raymond? Oh, fine, thanks. So, are you performing in the festival too? I'm not, but I've been working with the Molly Moore dance troupe. And they're on later today. You'll have a great day. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. There's always so much to see and do. It's a fantastic time. I'll see you later. Hmm. It's a shame I can't go to the festival. I wonder if Lisa and Granny Murray are there. having a good time there. <laughs> What's on the menu today then, Raymond? <laughs> well, I've got these very special vanilla custard tarts. Brilliant. Could we have ten of those then, please? Certainly, sir. Take a seat. I'll bring them over. Oh, yes. They're nice and cool now. The custard is set and the tarts are perfect for eating. <laughs> Another try on for Raymond. Um, so that's eight, nine... Raymond! Whoa! Can we make oh. that eleven custard tarts? Oh. It's all over me. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me help. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, it's OK, Mickey John. Uh, take a seat. Uh, I'll bring the rest of the tarts over in a minute. Sorry. Oh, I'll never get this off. Oh, dear. I've been slaving away all morning to make this a really special trip for the festival people. And now look at me. I'm a horrible custardy mess. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. The children were all playing at being a marching band. And Granny Murray told me that they were going to the bagpipe festival this afternoon. The children dressed Claude in a kilt and he looked magnificent. And Lisa gave me a tam o'shanter to wear. At nine o'clock, I was at work. I just got changed when Bobby arrived with enough yellow dusters for the whole of Riversea Fingal. At ten o'clock, I was busy cooking. I was making my special vanilla and custard tarts for the train trip to the festival. At 12 o'clock, there was just time to decorate the Boofy car for the festival trip before the train left Molly Moore. Mickey John ordered 10 custard tarts for him and the dancers. And that's when I got into this fine old mess. Now remember, wear it with a flourish. Hang on. I think these dusters of Bobby's might come in handy sooner than we thought. Come on, Raymond, the customer's waiting, and the show must go on. It's a race against time! <laughs> I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Finish what he has begun. He's a he will get there in the end because he knows what he should do. I've got to do it. He's going to do it. I've got to take 
the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. He's going to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. <laughs> Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about the delay. Hey, Raymond, I never knew you had a kilt. Oh, you know me. Any excuse to dress up. <laughs> and I always wear my kilt on special days. Uh, what tartan is it? Oh, it's, um... Mick Custard Tartan. Oh, it's so cool. I must see if I can get one like that. Well, I wish I could join in with you all at the Bagpipe Festival. Well, why don't we have our own mini festival here on the train? You've got the kilt and that nifty hat. Come on, let's see what you can do. Custard tarts on the bar if anyone fancies them, but I better just save one for a very special person I know. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. Look who's here, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Have you had a good day with Granny Murray? Oh, we've had a fast day. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. And are you going to say thank you to Granny Murray? Thank you, oh, Granny Murray. Oh, she's been the best girl, haven't you? And it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Wear it with a flourish. <laughs> it saved the day. Well, I never did. Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. <laughs> Bye-bye, good darling. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. But what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in a kilt because of the bagpipe festival. This morning we played it being a marching band and we had all different musical instruments. Then Lisa went to nursery and she met a piper who'd come to see the children. After that, we went to the festival. We had such a good time there. And then we came home and did some Scottish dancing. And while we were doing that, Raymond was doing some Scottish dancing on the train and he made himself a kilt too. <laughs> and I know what I'm really going to enjoy. My vanilla and custard tart. Bye-bye, <laughs> mm. honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Lucy and we've got Tahari. But don't just sit there, Pickles. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice to We've got Lucy and we've got Tahiria, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh yes, it's Kai with Bobby. Hello there. <laughs> Bobby. Hi, Granny Murray. Oh, great music. <laughs> Oh, you brought your dancing shoes, Kai! Hey. Uh -huh. hey. Woo! Come on, Miss Island! Dress, <laughs> love up high! A salsa dance! Woohoo! Good idea! 
Well done. Ah, there you go, flower. Ah. I can't hear my ears. <laughs> oh, Bobby, you're a good dancer. <laughs> Just a few steps that I picked up on holiday. I seem to remember that a Spanish waiter showed them to me. I hope he wasn't serving tables at the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wasn't serving tables. He was actually on them dancing. Oh! <laughs> Well, I think I'll just stick to dancing in the floor, if you don't mind. <laughs> no, not like that. It's like oh, this. Maybe we could have a dance a thon and see who could dance for the longest. Mm. My money's on Kai. Well, you won't have any money, my angel, if you don't get to your work. <laughs> now, don't worry about a thing. Well, I do try, but he seems a bit hyper tonight. Oh, no, we'll just go with the flow. If he's not exhausted after our dance a thon, then I'll get him to pretend to be you at work. Oh, look at Claude. <laughs> Well done, my darling's Claude. You look fantastic. <laughs> give Mummy a wee kiss. Bye bye. Oh, thanks, Kai. That is lovely. Come here, give us a kiss. Oh. Right, now then. You be a good boy for Granny Murray tonight, OK? And I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> right, better make sure I don't get this mixed up with my cleaning cloth. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. bye. Now remember. Go with the floor. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Bobby and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms I'm singing my way through the city's charm Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Oh, OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way. I go up now, or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Thanks for helping me get to work, but now I've got to get busy. Yep, it's time to change into my work clothes. Ready to go. Evening, Bobby. Oh, hello, Raymond. How are you doing? Fine, thanks. And even finer now that I've found a guinea pig. A guinea pig? It's a new dessert recipe I've been trying out. But before I can put it on the menu, I need someone to taste it. I see. And um, what is your delicacy called? Well, mademoiselle, it could be jelly à l'orange. Oh, you mean jelly with oranges? Excuse me, it isn't just any old kind of jelly. It has some very special ingredients. Wow, it looks very interesting and it's very wobbly. Bon oui, Bobby. Bon appetito. <laughs> Ciao, Raimundo. Wow, they look just like fish <laughs> and they're dancing. Oh. Will my Kai still be dancing, I wonder? I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Right, Kai, my darling, let's build a bus like the ones your mum cleans at work. Okie dokie. Okie dokes. Oh. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> will we draw them on? Who will we draw? Hi, 
Hello, who's that? A nose and a big smile. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Come on then, driver, where are we going? To the cinema. Yay, let's go to see a movie. <laughs> oh, I wonder what kind of bus your mum's clearing tonight, darling. This smells so good. Hello, Bobby. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. I've come to ask you a favour. Well, come on in. What's that you've got there? Oh, it's Raymond's new jelly recipe. He's asked me to be a food tester. Oh, he doesn't need another tester, does he? I could eat a horse. Well, how about a goldfish? Oh, well, that reminds me. I'm going on leave and I need somebody to feed the fish in the hospital waiting room and I was hoping you could do it. It's only for a few days. I've got some fish food for you, actually. Wow, have you got real fish in your hospital waiting room? Of course. It was my idea, actually. They're wonderfully calming. The patients sit and they look at the fish and watch them go round and round and they're so relaxed. They forgot all about their aches and pains. It says a pinch two or three times a day. Well, I could probably manage twice a day before and after work. Starting Saturday? All right. I'll do it. Oh, thanks, Bobby. I owe you. Well, whew, it's past my bedtime. I better get going. Oh, well, it's past Kai's bedtime too. I hope he's not still awake. Thanks for your help. Bye. Enjoy your holiday. <laughs> right. Well, I'd better get on with some work. Bobby boogie woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time. Show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Clean in while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city Looking pretty and radiant The hot caps gleam The paintwork shines A river sea double decker Looks so fine The driver she drives Collecting the fares Leaving then arriving She will get you there This boss is stopping from Picking up and putting down This boss is shining It's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes and Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses, so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Time for a tea break, I'm starving Oh, I know what I could eat. Where's that jelly? <laughs> Hi, Bobby. Have you lost something? Hello. Uh, yes, I have. I've lost a jelly. Your Raymond's, in fact. Oh. Hmm. That's exactly what I was coming to ask you about. Yeah, I was just about to try... I'm gone. Cleaned out. Dr Juno, she scoffed the lot. Oh, well, that must be nice then. Good. She didn't come by especially for that, did she? No, no, no. She come round to ask me if I'd feed a fish. I, I said that I would, but I'm a bit worried about it. Well, maybe you should go and meet the fish and see what you're letting yourself in for before Dr Juno goes away. That might put your mind at rest. Oh, that is a brilliant idea. <laughs> um, I don't suppose uh, you're on a break too, by any chance? Well, I have an hour to kill before my next pick-up. Any chance of a quick wreckage to the hospital? All right, let's go have a quick look then. You are a gem, Tina. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Somewhere, I can hear them. Oh, there they are! <gasps> oh, they're really pretty. Oh, see the way they dart about? <laughs> it looks like they're doing salsa dancing. Kite is going to love feeding these fishes. He should be ready for bed by now. I think 
it's time we went to bed? No. No? Those windows all have a hole in them if you rub it any harder. And those wheels must be the cleanest in River Sea Fingal. <laughs> I hope your mum cleans our buses as well as you've cleaned that one. <laughs> Oh, Kai's a sleepy head like me. Dr. Juno was right. They're very relaxing. Huh? Right. Come on, Tina. We need to get moving. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Come on, Tina. I'll race you to the door. <laughs> I hope this isn't who I think it is. Hello, Riversea Bus Depot. Oh, hi, Granny Murray. What's up? Oh, no. Kai still won't go to sleep. All right, well, don't worry, Granny Murray. I'll think of something. OK, bye. Oh, my goodness, Tina. I've still got a load of buses to clean, but it's really late and Granny Murray can't get Kai to sleep. Where did I go wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, Kai was determined to stay up all night. Granny Murray said he'd tire himself out with salsa dancing. The children gave Claude a flowing costume so he could be a dancer too. At seven o'clock, Raymond asked me to try his new pudding. He'd given it a fancy name, but I said it looked like dancing fish. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno dropped by to ask me to look after her fish while she was away. She ate all the jelly, leaving none for me. At nine o'clock, Tina took me to check out the hospital fish. We got quite carried away watching them and we had to shake ourselves out of it to get back to work. At 10 o'clock, Granny Murray was worried because Kai was still wide awake. She phoned me at work to ask for help in getting him to sleep. Now remember, go with the flow. Where have I seen flowing water recently? With, with, with something soothing? It's the fish in the fish tank. Wow, OK, if I could just somehow get Kai to watch some kind of flowing fish. Come on, Tina, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? She know how to fix it. Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure, she will finish. She will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat that clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. She's gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Bobby asked me to give you these fish for Master Wide Awake. She hopes they'll help to calm him down. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Night. Kai, look what Mum sent for you. What are they? Fishies. Wee fish. Look at their lovely colours. Can you see them bobbing about? Yeah. <laughs> I think they would swim better if you were lying down watching them. See them bob about. Hello, Mr. Fish. I wish I was with you, Mum. Your mum's here, Kai. Hiya, Kai. Hi, oh. Mummy. You look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Clever boy. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Go with the flow. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, you'd better be off. Come on, you. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right. Come on, Twinkle. Let's talk about our time away. <laughs> and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, weaving, dressing, singing, swinging, what?
Jumping slide, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a dancer so he could join in with our salsa dancing. Kai was full of beans and said he wanted to be like his mum and stay awake till morning. He made a cardboard bus and spent ages cleaning it like Bobby has to do at work. I got tired watching him. Eventually, I had to telephone his mum to ask her to help in getting him into bed. Bobby came up trumps and made some shiny fish which Tina brought over in her taxi. Watching them sway about finally made Kai go to sleep. Do you like to cuddle up when you go to sleep? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. I love to skip in river sea tingle, river sea tingle, bye. I love to skip in river sea tingle, river sea tingle, that's for me. Come on and get on down to the city, the city. where the fairy folks dance the blues. Time to call on Granny Murray.